Hey guys, so before I start, I'd like to say I'm a little sick, so sorry for my voice. Today's video will be what color correction looks like and how to do it. Now, my favorite editing program, and the one we'll be using today, is called Lightworks. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's free, by the way. Now, the gameplay you're seeing right now is not color corrected. You may think it looks good, but after your color correction, you're probably going to think, wow, the gameplay before that looked kind of bland. This is gameplay with color correction. You may notice it's a lot more vibrant than before, and very colorful. This is gameplay with even more color correction. You're gonna notice it's even more vibrant than before, but sometimes it's a little bit too much, so depending on the gameplay you're using, how much color correction you're gonna need is uh, varying. Now that you've actually seen what it looks like, we're gonna get into the tutorial. In case you don't know how to import, you press this button right here and import the clips. So basically, to start, you go to effects, color, you're gonna see color correction. I want you to click that. Once you see that, you're gonna open this menu. The options you're going to see are saturation, gamma, contrast, brightness, and gain. The main thing we're going to be messing with is saturation. On the left here we see the gameplay, and on the right we can change the settings. So I'm going to bring the saturation up a little bit, and down, and up, and down. You can mess with it to see what best suits you. Now I like to keep Battlefield 1 at around maybe 23%. Pretty much everything else you don't really have to mess with too much depending on the game. Mess with the brightness, again, I really won, unless it's a game that's really focused on being really dark or really bright. I'm going to change that back to zero. Same thing with gain, you don't really have to mess with that. I'm going to put that back to zero. Again, same thing with gamma. However, contrast, you can mess with a little bit. I wouldn't go too crazy with it, though. As you can see, adding some contrast to that definitely made it look a little prettier. I think this is good. Looks really vibrant, looks really pretty. Once you're done with that, you can save it as a template, so in the future you can just press a button to add the effects. To do that, you press save as template, name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it color correction video 2. Put in the category whatever you want, I'm going to put in color just for convenience, and press do it. Let's say in the future you want to add your color correction, all you have to do is go to effects, go to whatever category you saved it in, and press add. And you can see it's added, and you could add it even more than once if you want to. Once again, I'll show how it looks before and after. This is before, this is after. Obviously, it looks a lot more vibrant and a lot more prettier. Anyway, that's the guide. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.